Good morning, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to uh, Age Now. I'm Alexandre Raffin, co-founder of, of the fair, and I'm very happy to welcome you for the first edition um, of Age Now. Thank you very much, Mr. Kiteha, uh, Ambassador uh, of Japan to France. Thank you, Madame, for being uh, uh, here. Uh, we're extremely happy, along with Emmanuel, I will leave the, the, the phone to Emmanuel in a minute, but just as an introduction, uh, to welcome here Mrs. Yuko Asegawa. Thank you so much for being here, you know, we're very honored of your presence and of your uh, participation to the Japanese platform at Asia now in the context of Japanism 200. And 18. We're a part of, of this program. I'm very happy to, to be uh, uh, here supporting the Japanese art scene. And you've been doing so much for the Japanese art scene in France this year. From the Japanese uh, season, where you created Japan uh, Hama in Pompidou Mess, to Fukami. Uh, recently at uh, Hotel Salomon uh, de Ho Chi Really, I think we can all thank you for making uh, um, at least friends know more about uh, um, the Japanese art scene and all these great uh, artists. So thank you very much and thank you for being here to um, have a, a panorama and to uh, uh, expose the major concepts in order to um, have uh, this scene more readable and more uh, understandable for us. So thank you very much. You will have, this will be followed, you will have a talk about a conversation with the great artist present here, Koen Awa, thank you so much. We, we all know your work uh, being exposed uh, at uh, uh, the Louvre. Uh, right now, thank you for being here. We're very much looking forward to uh, this uh, conversation, and I would like now to uh, um, have uh, to welcome uh, Emmanuel de Montgazon and to thank her very, very much. We're all very grateful at Asia now to uh, to have you leading and creating this Japanese platform designed by Su Fujimoto, and really it's a, a, a unique. Um, opportunity to uh, uh, welcome the most cutting edge age Japanese gallery. I would like also to thank our partners uh, for this Japanese uh, platform. We have a French partner with Pitch Promotion, but we have two extremely important Japanese uh, partners uh, for us, Terana. Uh, we are very happy to uh, partner with Tehada being uh, uh, art uh, uh, assisting, art warehouse, art shipment, art logistics uh, uh, group, along with the Tehada uh, art complex in Tokyo. And we would like to uh, thank them and being super grateful for partnering with Asian Art Japanese platform this year. And Ori uh, being a, speciali a specialist in um, crafting uh, the highest quality of paper for um, catalog and the most refined uh, art materials. So we're very, very happy to have them um, as well. That's it. Thank you. And Emmanuel, please uh, introduce uh, the talk. Thank you very much. So uh, I will be a um, bit short, but I wanted to uh, underline that uh, I really shepherd this uh, uh, platform, Japanese platform. Um, maybe let's say from uh, an inspiration that I get from Yuko Asegawa over the last 20 years. So to uh, welcome her, her uh, for the last day of uh, the fair, is something that is touching me personally very much. And uh, I think she's one of the curators in Japan that is uh, totally capable and able to uh, show the invisible visible, 
And I think uh, all uh, the presentation that uh, we have the chance to have today between uh, uh, the exhibition she curated um, um, and uh, the, the, the talk she will have with um, Kohe will really serve on this notion uh, that is uh, fundamentally super important that, um, and that uh, we are really gifted to have her. So um, I let you enjoy her presentation and uh, the dialogue she will have with a fantastic artist, uh, Corinne Awa. Please, you Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for uh, inviting me to uh, give the opportunity to talk about uh, my two exhibitions in France, it's introduced in Japanese contemporary art, and also uh, the day of the exhibition in historical and contemporary together is that one of the show of Kami. So, because uh, um, for me it's very uh, important to uh, just uh, point it out, and uh, here we are, what is the story of the Japanese art history, and, uh, to be understand of French audiences, not only kind of, you know, French audience as well as uh, Western kind of contextual people. So it's not so easy uh, because uh, the Japan is very, very special and uh, kind of geopolitical location and also we are very much, you know, unique development in the culture and history. So that's why it's, uh, it is not so easy to just, you know, and, uh, give one word, you know, what is this Japanese art and culture. So that's uh, through the exhibition form, I just try to uh, make uh, something as uh, um, um, Emmanuel says, and uh, invisible to visible. So I'm just going to talk about the two exhibitions which I did uh, from last year and uh, um, this year. So this is the two exhibitions, and the one is uh, Pompto Metz. And the structure is uh, focusing Japanese contemporary art with and a visual art culture, because uh, like a pop culture included. So this is a quite, you know, a challenge show, challenge show and uh, what's happened in the popular events. This exhibition is uh, um, uh, conducted by the corporation and uh, um, Japan and the foundation, and uh, this was great help. And also, you know, and uh, uh, I had a moment to take part of the you know, organized and performance part, but I couldn't uh, show up this part, only uh, just talking about the uh, exhibition part. So, secondary and uh, becoming exhibition, and uh, that is going to happen uh, this summer. Unfortunately, many people, French people, uh, missed this exhibition because of summer vacation. But uh, we are going to publish the uh, catalog with the uh, next year. But the uh, show is, and, uh, um, kind of a very challenging and overview and uh, showing a Japanese art history and culture within aesthetic and uh, last than 5,000 years. So, because uh, this is a quite, you know, challenging title, but the bronze and uh, dam and uh, aesthetic in Japan, Japanese and uh, Japan, Japan. So this is something. But uh, both exhibition number of the visitors quite successful and uh, Japan armor, we just uh, having uh, 100,000 visitors. And uh, for four months, and secondly, for coming exhibition, we just uh, having uh, almost uh, um, thirty thousand visitors. And uh, one day, and uh, each exhibition one per day, and uh, one thousand visitors in averages. It's, uh, I thought it's a uh, great successful because you just introduced Japanese contemporary art, or you know this kind of historical overview exhibition in France. Um, this is a kind of Japan armor, and uh, that's the show is uh, everybody knows about the very and, um, um, unique and, uh, buildings designed by um, Japanese architect. So that uh, um, it is uh, the um, show is uh, happened uh, last uh, autumn and uh, to this year. So that uh, I just sort it out because uh, when talking about the Japanese contemporary art because then we have to start it and explain about what happened in the post-war. Because in Japan, it's a get um, bomb, there's a two and a nuclear bomb. That's the first experience and, uh, as a human being history. And uh, the, the nuclear and atomic bomb is bombed in the kind of people's and the city people live. So that then uh, we just uh, have a very strong experience, you know, and, uh, um, kind of, the, you know, very dystopian and uh, ideas, everything destroyed the catastrophe once. So after, you know, we just, uh, um, after 50s, 60s, and uh, Japanese culture is much influenced by uh, uh, Western, you know, avant-garde 
art and uh, influence. But uh, from 1970s, and uh, Osaka Expos are going to be held. Osaka Expo is uh, like uh, one statement. This is the end of the you know, war, something like a post-war statement. Because Japan started uh, um, and kind of developed their own kind of you know technical also and uh, you know and uh, cultural and social and uh, independent development with their own technology, also economy, also with an artist. Because uh, this Osaka Expo is uh, operated by you know Arata Isotaki and uh, also uh, Okamoto Taro, and a uh, very avant-garde cutting edge um, architect. Also, a group of the artists that will be engaged and design this Osaka Expo. This is very challenging, it's an experimental expo, not by operated much and the government. This is very unique. <coughs> so, this is also, there are many uh, experimental, also contemporary art events that happened from the 90s and 1970s. So, 1980s, and, uh, Japan has uh, into the bubble economy, and uh, everybody knows about and, uh, those kind of parko and a uh, saison corporate group. There's a department of store also including a lot of uh, shopping and uh, business. That means uh, they just showing uh, the galleries and uh, theaters, including many avant-garde and uh, contemporary projects. That means uh, there's no hierarchical situation, because uh, in this uh, parko culture, 1980s culture, or the academic and the principal, also theory, and also an advertisement, also contemporary art, with uh, all the same very horizontal kind of structure. This happened in Japan. It's very unique and phenomenal, because uh, many criticism about uh, this in the 1980s, about uh, everything commercialized, everything capitalized. But for me, it's a uh, very important time. Japan has their own kinds of cultural you know, history, and uh, through uh, the 1980s. Because uh, there is no many kind of pop art, also illustration, also music coming up. Also, many people just thinking about they are then engaged in a part of the art. You know, everybody can be a performer. So this is a lot of street performance happen. So this is very interesting time, the eighties. So that and uh, also this um, the reason why I just focus on nineteen eighties and uh, in my Japan drama exhibition is most one of the most important time. So that the 1990s and uh, 1995 particularly and uh, um, Hanshin and uh, Awaji earthquake happened and also and, uh, this is some crisis happened in the album you know and uh, all cultic and religious group and uh, they put in a saline gas, poisonous gas in the subway. That means in the past and uh, people had a kind of crisis about this is a terrorism. So that's a very cult group. This is very quite you know depressed time in the uh, end of 1990s. But uh, also uh, many kind of people just uh, starting uh, living uh, outside the city. Also they just constructing new culture. That's kind of very much a history, non-historical culture. Because uh, there are many uh, um, suburban you know, cultures that grow up. That's also it's a quite interesting kind of time, you know. And uh, culture has been changing in a way. So 2000, because uh, there is a lot of kind of new developing in the city. Also, cultural industry is uh, quite, you know, flourish because uh, this is a uh, more building, and so, uh, they just make a lot of hills and a uh, lot of kinds, you know, and um, um, collaboration, designer, architect, and artist. This is a time really growing. But again, um, the everybody knows about the top break aspect happened 2011. So that then, uh, um, this changed a lot. These are two phenomena that uh, this happened this year, after this year. One is the uh, network of the internet, because the internet has a very strong kind of, you know, and uh, communication tool. Because then, uh, um, after earthquake, uh, lots of kind of contamination of the radio and uh, active and contamination, because it's totally invisible. So uh, how people just uh, get the, the information, how people warning each other. So that means that uh, people uh, make a uh, very invisible network uh, through the um, internet because uh, the authority is uh, the information doesn't work. So that means that uh, trust for the um, kind of the union is uh, formed through the internet. This is a new kind of you know, uh, um, situation that uh, will happen. 
also many artists in the study talk about, you know, how the artists and the contribute uh, to just uh, give uh, some proposal, give uh, a suggestion to just kind uh, of social political situation. There's uh, many kind of the very high level documentation, also lots of workshop and the project that uh, collaborate with architects that happen in the talk <coughs> Not only that, and uh, artists and start to think about what their mission is. Again, now we can afford it through Olympic and many kind of new projects happen, particularly and uh, focusing on architecture, also new media and uh, you know also new materials. And uh, there are many things happening in Tokyo at this moment. So that uh, I just uh, looking and uh, showing and uh, can you see yeah, because uh, this is a structure of the exhibition. Because uh, um because uh, you know about uh, something about uh, contemporary art in Japan. Because uh, people immediately say, oh, I know Kusama, I know Daigo Moriyama, I know Hiroshi Sugimoto. All that answers coming from something like that. But and also and Murakami, and also very uh, uh, star player in Koko. So that uh, in Japan introduced uh, those uh, major, you know, and uh, artists and solo exhibition first. Not so much about uh, those kind of historical survey overview exhibition because it's not so easy to uh, contextualize the history. Instead of the chronological survey, I just put down uh, you know, six uh, key concepts. Make an island. It's a, a concept island, like an archipelago. One is uh, like an, uh, I just focus on body because of the performativity. Because uh, Japan is uh, also strong kind of animism as uh, behind that the theory. Sometimes an uh, object and uh, connected the human body. That one thing. The secondary and the pop art because uh, Japan has a very rich, you know, and subculture and pop culture. And uh, pop art is uh, really uh, playing with that. That means uh, it's a slightly different than American also and British pop in a way. Because uh, the basic and uh, part of the you know, land is uh, as a pop culture is pretty different. Because uh, in Japan, pop art is uh, something device, instrument, absorbing uh, those kind of environmental pop culture into the art form. That also, you know, lots of resources, manga, animation, also underground performance, lots. That means a uh, very unique and uh, fierce and Japanese pop art as uh, developed. The, the C is, and uh, this is a collaboration, also participation, because obviously, um, after the great earthquake, people were amazed, and so many the Japanese people cooperate together to uh, keeping their orders in a uh, uh, peacefully. So how they collaborate to each other, help each other. Because uh, this is not only kind of, um, Japanese so-called mentality, also some aesthetic come from Buddhism. Also, you know, and that obviously and uh, showing a uh, fluxus, and fluxus and uh, uh, first and uh, great international movement and uh, invited uh, many Japanese artists. Because the uh, fluxus and uh, spirit itself is very much relevant to a uh, Japanese very cooperative, participatory and spirit. This is the uh, C part. So D is, um, because I have a question, why so many people talking about kawaii It's a Japanese culture? Kawaii means cute, but uh, people so much, uh, kawaii is uh, something innocent, something very fragile. Then so much about uh, any kind of, you know, and, uh, intellectual thought behind. But uh, I just put uh, kind of strong kind of ideas behind kawaii. There are some kind of strong kind of politics, also philosophy behind. This is the idea. But uh, the and, uh, fourth section is and, uh, um, the, when we are talking about the Moriyama Daido, because uh, the Moriyama Daido is a uh, uh, very much strong kind of, you know, statement in the 60s about very subjective photo. Because of the subjectivity, also very uh, strong kind of privatization, it's uh, one of the, you know, and, uh, um, important characteristic in uh, Japanese art, also araki. It's very personal. But then uh, the last part is, uh, you know, it's a minimalism. Because uh, Japanese people have a very strong kind of ideas about what the material is. Because there's uh, something very ontological question. And always uh, uh, Western artists uh, try to make uh, transform the material, their own kind of projecting, their own kind of ideas, their intention. But uh, particularly, it's, uh, um, um, artists and a group like a monopop artist 
monophytes and, uh, and uh, um, very special kind of relation with the materials. Because the uh, monophytes never project an uh, author's you know, intention into the formation of the materials. Because it's more kind of the, you know, and uh, let and, uh, uh, think the material itself and start to talk to the audiences. This is a completely different kind of the ontological kind of the scheme and uh, um, kind of the, um, ideas, approaches. And uh, that's uh, also the, those kind of materials relation is uh, connected to minimalism. Because uh, that's a simplicity that I just want to uh, show up this. Um, this is a kind of the scenography of the exhibition. I just uh, allocated uh, each section like this. People just uh, walking and uh, the spaces and uh, floating to make a visit from Ira and uh, the others. This is a kind of body part because uh, also I just put together as a reference and uh, artworks, also performance videos and uh, before 1970s because as a reference. So that then uh, first uh, we just look at, uh, because uh, my idea is, I just put uh, also fashion and also film, so manga, and uh, very cross borders materiality together. So this is, I just put a uh, um, recoverable as a strange object, because then uh, also, you know, uh, as a um, 60s, before 60s reference, I just put the buto and also butai as a botanaka, electric dress, and also, you know, um, like an, uh, um, the artists are uh, from a uh, highlight center, and uh, they do a uh, lot of performance, make a uh, performance from the performance, they make a uh, lot of kind of very objective, you know, and, uh, um, paintings. And this is Nakanishi and uh, uh, also, this uh, string object is uh, 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 body-oriented art is uh, just uh, uh, um, connected to a uh, second part. It's uh, like a post-human. Because uh, this question is uh, how uh, Japanese art is uh, connected to machine, also that kind of autonomy, and also digital. So that means uh, uh, this is a post-modern uh, uh, art and uh, uh, presentation of Japanese art be presented as a Context. The third is the uh, pop. So that I uh, just put together is uh, um, the piano base, 80s. Also, this is Yamaguchi Harumi illustration in the purple time. But also, as a reference, I just put a new and uh, all those, uh, you know, very interesting and uh, uh, graphic designer, as a deeply connected and, uh, you know, underground culture. Also, very critical and uh, um, and he's a uh, um, graphic designer, but they uh, make a uh, lot of uh, social political and uh, you know critical and uh, um, illustration like that. Also, that's a uh, pop because uh, as I told you uh, already, and uh, it's a pop is very an uh, interesting part in Japan because uh, it's a popular culture and uh, how popular culture is transformed into the kind of art form. Because uh, one of his uh, represented artist Murakami. Also, Murakami is uh, he just uh, applied uh, um, Japanese traditional painting. So that also he just makes a uh, very traditional form and uh, those kind of pop culture. This is a uh, kind of you know he just put a uh, little face on it if you can see it, but it's very difficult to see. It. So that uh, I just shown. But, uh, um, do you think uh, can you see the details and pictures? That's why I was concerned the screen is so small. But anyway, so I just try to improvise. But then uh, the, the second thing is, uh, you know, I just put uh, something like a uh, situational, you know, part and uh, in between. Because then, uh, this is a uh, kind of a special part of the talks of earthquake, how the artist is responding. Because then, uh, one of the artists, uh, you know, uh, Hataki Yamanaoya, and uh, he also lost a uh, part of his relatives, families, and uh, by those kind of you know disaster. But uh, he just put on uh, those kind of very calm, very aesthetically beautiful landscape to this uh, disaster like this. And also Yeko Shiga, and uh, he just living with uh, village people and uh, with a uh, Miyagi. So that and uh, he just uh, she's shooting a very surrealistic uh, photographs and uh, together with the village people also landscape is also chimpon. 
and uh, they do a uh, very much you know, activist and performance and, uh, with the people is uh, from there. So these are uh, you know it's the politics and uh, you know um, behind a uh, very strong ideas resistance. So that then uh, what I just uh, thought about uh, behind the kawaii because uh, this is uh, Yoshitomo Nara, everybody knows about Yoshitomo Nara. People are just thinking about why this uh, children uh, showed anger. He really asked to refuse to be uh, you know, part of the um, world with uh, what the grown people is uh, made. So that means uh, there is no criticism about you know, current situation. So that means uh, now it's a kawaii figure is uh, always uh, something has a message. So that's uh, another kind of you know, picture that uh, you can tell you. And uh, he just made a very nice kind of kimono pattern. But uh, this kimono pattern is uh, come from uh, Okinawa's very traditional you know, uh, kimono design. But uh, each pattern, uh, including uh, uh, um, like a uh, fighter jet uh, from the US Army, because uh, that's responding history of the, you know, and a uh, very uh, long history and uh, occupied by US Army at Okinawa. This is something, something beautiful things, but including a strong kind of protest, also strong kind of political connotation. This is ideas. So that then I just quickly do it. Also, this is something very political resistance, and uh, something like uh, also Kosuke Tsumura, and uh, this is a uh, final form, you know, this is a very pop-up, you know, like a uh, um, coat, but then uh, by new, but then uh, he just put the uh, garbage, you know, he picked up the garbage to put into the, you know, this pocket. That means that uh, your kind of wear is, outer wear has become final form. This is something. Also, this is a kind of idea of the collaboration, participation. I just mentioning about, you know, and, uh, um, Fruxas and Yoko Ono, because uh, Fruxas is uh, um, like an after John Cage, and Fruxas are really kind of, um, kind of the activated uh, people's imagination, how uh, people's imagination also senses uh, participate to be a uh, completed artwork. People participation is very necessary to be an artwork. This is also many instruction work is, uh, you know, in the process. That means that uh, it's a sharing, participation, is a uh, quite important element, which is uh, declared. Um, for instance, like uh, after Yoko Ono, then, uh, I just mentioned uh, Koki Tanaka, because everybody knows uh, Koki Tanaka, and uh, he um, just uh, says uh, how uh, we can share uh, others' experience. So this is a question that uh, goes to uh, some project and uh, he's making a uh, you know, um, like, uh, collaborative uh, project. He's shooting the videos. These videos are uh, for pianists and uh, playing the one pieces together. So how are you learning uh, the others? So that uh, Another one is uh, Freud's uh, subjectivity, but also a uh, very personal documentary. Because uh, our documentary is uh, now is, uh, growing uh, very, very strong again, because uh, after a talk earthquake, but uh, in the 60s, also people just looking at their own kind of personal identity. So that means uh, you know, the 60s are uh, quite strong, like uh, you know, all the Moyama Daidos, uh, and the 60s, uh, they just do it a provoke. So how the subjectivity is going to be a style. But then uh, this is a quite strong kind of, you know, um, part of the um, photographies at the uh, end of the 60s, the 70s, that I'm just showing now. Also, now it's, uh, you know, new generation. It's uh, like, uh, you know, um, Sekashi Koma, also Ingo Kawaguchi, and a very personal picking up, but it's very slightly and uh, not so strong kind of style, but it's more kind of transparent, more kind of equivalent to uh, the kind of uh, uh, landscape, also others. But uh, those kind of distance with, uh, uh, you know, uh, the subject also you know, is uh, quite interesting and uh, phenomenal. The last part is uh, you know, materials. It's uh, like a uh, you know, monomer. Because for instance, a uh, typical leaf farm, and a uh, leaf farm just put a uh, heavy uh, stone and, uh, on the glasses. Because uh, every time those kind of simple action, also the 
weight of the stone at a different kind of crack of the foam. So that's we simply showing about uh, you know um, some um, uh, um, very simple relations you know, between you know object and object. That means uh, you know because uh, no kind of people also the intervention in between. So that means uh, monohar just really straightforward. It's very right. so this is uh, Takayama no Boru and uh, also, he just uh, picked up the borrow is uh, using a railway, and uh, it's about uh, recycle. But then uh, he just think about uh, this kind of, you know, and uh, the borrow is a uh, lot. It's uh, contained a lot of the history of the, you know, transportation. This is ideas. So that then also, and uh, uh, Hiroshi Sakamoto. So that then uh, he just shooting a lot of the sea, and uh, long exposure make a very simple form. It's a uh, black and white. So all this, and I just quickly, this is the entrance of the show. This is the way of the installation. All the kind of, the, you know, um, Gutai, Sana, Tanaka, Atsuko, and also, you know, the fashion by Rei Kawakubo, and I installed together, showing uh, some very strong impression of the body itself. It's like a destructive body, because, uh, you know, this is a show of Shimamoto, just the life. It's a lot of the hole because uh, this is the center of this and uh, uh, like an, uh, you know, um, Vegas dress, so that uh, they have a kubo and a lot of hole in her kind of sweater, so something like that. Also post human and uh, uh, YMO, Yellow Mario Orchestra, and uh, they just the first generation using computer, how human bodies and also connected to the computer. This is a kind of, they are very pioneer to just express ideas. Very humanity and uh, within and uh, how the humanity transformed in the digital age. So this is a uh, this is uh, so other parties and uh, you know the body human. And uh, this is uh, um, Mori Yuko and uh, she's uh, maybe a typical and the artist is showing post-human because now it's uh, no figure as a human being because uh, instead of that, and uh, instead of human, all the kind of instruments are uh, just to play the music because uh, those kind of non-humans just start in a, and a play on uh, behalf of the human being, something like that. So that then, uh, I just simply show him. So this is a, um, it's a quite important like image is supposed to human because uh, this is very dystopian image is uh, you know like an uh, an uh, Otomo because uh, he is a uh, manga maker also lots of influence and uh, images and uh, dystopian ideas because uh, he is the one make a very special kind of frame in the manga because uh, he just put uh, one big painting that uh, was about uh, two pages. Because it's like a painting instead of the, you know, and uh, sequence as a manga. So that means uh, he's uh, also many kind of manga painters are doing uh, big, one strong kind of images and uh, two pages. Because uh, this is something in between like uh, illustrations of painter and the manga sequences. Because uh, for me it's very interesting because uh, this is beginning of digitalized because uh, they just cut it and uh, all the digital pixel images by hand. So this is pioneer's images because uh, before the computers and uh, really kind of software is really grown up. This is uh, all the kind of, this part is very beginning pioneer's images and it's more pressure than you know contemporary and uh, pictures. So this, uh, you know, also I just uh, shifted the forward because, uh, you know, Aguilarish, also, you know, it's a Yoktana Mari Yoko. Also Kusama, because uh, Kusama is, uh, you know, um, in the art history, uh, Kusama is very interesting figures. Like an uh, post minima, also, you know, like an environmental art. Also, you know, very optical art, and also, you know, it's very naturalistic art. So, and uh, the summer is, uh, you know, defined uh, many kind of um, different kind of art context. 
But uh, now it's, uh, uh, everybody wants to have a uh, summer's exhibition. It's, uh, it's uh, quite interesting how his her ideas are self obliteration because uh, her body is, uh, could be everywhere. It's uh, like this kind of small dog. This, uh, everybody wants to be and uh, you know embraced in the world. Everybody wants to be and uh, you know everywhere. So this is a uh, very symbolic of this. Uh, you know, also, there are a lot of kind of connections and advertisement and the manga. Yeah. Also, this is an illustration Hibino. It's a Yamaguchi. It's a part of culture. It's a typical. Also, and uh, Chino Otake, he started as a graphic designer, also book designer. Now he's going to be an artist. Now it's an also manga and a maker. You know, to be and uh, like a painter. This is the Makoto Aida, and he just mixed uh, the Parteno and also, you know, an monumental of the Hiroshima and the uh, atomic, and, uh, you know, bomb and monument. So, which is very uh, important, and uh, what is the uh, idea of uh, differentiation monument and, uh, between uh, the West and uh, also Japan. So, it's very uh, uh, political, or political work, but then uh, uh, Makoto Aida is, uh, you know, a uh, very interesting kind of, you know, and uh, um, multi and uh, activity which he has. This is Murakami. Uh, when you look at that uh, Murakami, it's quite amazing. Yeah. I, I just quickly show you. Uh, yeah. Because the time is running, I just make it very simple. Sorry. Because uh, um, this is a part of the you know collaboration part because uh, I just invited an architecture project and uh, also to everybody because uh, after earthquake and uh, people need a uh, kind of you know sharing house because uh, people are so isolated. All the kind of uh, all the kind of earthquake victims and also you know people had a um, had the experience of design and disaster, so people need uh, something by the public house to be shared. So that the many architects and group and the two Ito just conducted this project. That everybody's own project. That picture is very small. This is a Koki Tanaka. This is a Yoko Ono. This is a kind of the idea of you know and uh, collaborations. Wow, well, and uh, this is a collaboration and uh, people and. Uh, they just uh, invited the people to make a workshop to um, getting uh, their requirement, what they want to have. Because uh, this uh, kind of, you know, uh, school boys uh, want to have bus stop in a, you know, um, kind of the athletic field. Because uh, after they uh, just make uh, the practice and uh, um, baseball, and uh, they just uh, need an uh, immediately need a bus stop, something like that.
Yeah, this is the line of volume of something. Araki? Osoe? Oma? So, uh, the last part is uh, now, it's an uh, important mixture, it's a uh, monohormotic standard which I explained, and the minimalism, also very special kind of relation with the material. Um, behind is a uh, coffee and hours work, it's a uh, kind of force, it's very important work. He just explained about this piece afterwards. Yeah, this is the installation view. Yeah. This is a big picture. This is so damn tight. So, um, okay. And, uh, because and, uh, in this exhibition, because uh, for me it's very interesting kind of feedback of French audiences. Because and, uh, uh, French audiences are uh, just uh, kind of mentioning about it. Because uh, sometimes uh, they couldn't understand. But then uh, they understand something very ambiguity, but uh, something very uncertain, but then uh, it's quite attractive. For me, it's very interesting kind of reaction about that, because uh, some of the people know about uh, Kusama's, and also some people know about uh, Japanese uh, uh, subject photography. But uh, to entering point that uh, what they have already know, they are entering there. So this is a lot of different approaches. But definitely people enjoy the show very much. So that's why I really appreciate and all the kind of high and curiosity about the Japanese art. This is a show that you can learn. So the next is the Fukami. And this happened to, and, uh, you know, um, this summer. So that, uh, um, the show is an overview of uh, um, Japanese uh, um, history and uh, aesthetic. But also, I just put the uh, same kind of ideas about how yet what a uh, very special character the Japanese art is. But then, uh, could you show me the um, the videos first? Is it possible to change the videos? Yeah. But now it's a uh, used in a lot of events. But uh, not uh, showing uh, much about the uh, museum structure at all. But uh, this is a uh, kind of three minutes video. Uh, Corporate is a uh, marketing and museum. So we just do the museum together.
John and the whistle of the unleashed of the onion. <laughs> This is a hokusai jum, it's completely blue, with the same paintings. Scenography designed by Sana, who is a famous architect, and uh, they just designed the river rounds. This is a majestic mark piece, and uh, the artist is here. So, dialogues with the robot and uh, This is a piece by Kotenawa, it's a poem. This is the basement. Thank you. So, um,
and uh, so how the, all the kind of form has been constantly changing to show up a different kind of formation, but it's um, essentially the same. But uh, these are kind of 10 rooms, because I just invited the people to make a journey with this. Because uh, this is not the kind of the pedagogical thing, that uh, we just look at that, it's just the period, also listening. It's very important to just enter, prolong it, diving into these experiences. This is my language in the curatorial. Because uh, comparing an uh, um, Omidomets, Omidomets is more pedagogical, more kind of, you know, and uh, uh, semiotically and uh, theoretically explained. But uh, this exhibition is more kind of inviting people just a uh, period. Also, you know, and uh, thinking and, uh, in that environment, what it is. Because I just make uh, some sequence. This is a cold drum. The first is and, uh, um, the piece and uh, Shinji Omaki. And uh, he used a natural pigment. And uh, with a stencil, he just put uh, this pigment and uh, dropped on the kind of, you know, carpet. It's very beautiful pattern. This pattern comes from his memory. It's a very traditional kimono pattern. Because also this traditional kimono pattern also developed, expanded, and, uh, you know, different kind of cultural and memory from Asia, at the Central Asia. Also Chinese and a very traditional pattern to be joining. So that, uh, the last day, we just uh, are inviting people to walk around because uh, I just want to show up that how the piece is very ephemeral. Also, how people just transform this piece of structural painting. But always those kind of formations operated by human beings, also time. This is ideas. But uh, the second one is very important. And uh, um, we together with the dress and the jomo. Jomo is in uh, um, 3,000 years, and uh, um, we see, and uh, almost 5,000 years from now. And uh, no one knows uh, why and, uh, this and, uh, very decorative, very exquisite design. It's a uh, mimic of the uh, black iron, and it was made at uh, such a old time. This is uh, using a real cooking. So that means, uh, you know, and, uh, because the Japanese people have a strong aesthetic, and also this kind of decorative ideas and uh, 5,000 years ago for the daily life. How the daily life to be an relevant to uh, those design dresses. This dress is by, made by a uh, kind of, um, like uh, from a uh, denim. It's uh, like a chopped denim and uh, going to be a dress. So that also, you know, an uh, Amirish and a uh, designer also collaborate with the court in our. That uh, they just uh, put down the relevant on uh, both sides. So this is the dialogue between you know an uh, uh, European artist and Picasso because the is uh, you know this plan. because the uh, is a 17th century monk and uh, he's uh, like uh, you know uh, always uh, uh, traveling and uh, he just uh, get a uh, request uh, from the you know people. And uh, he just make a uh, quickly and uh, take a uh, pound of wood to make uh, you know this kind of wood. He just give it to them by free. So this is a part of his mission. And uh, entire his life, and uh, he just made it uh, you know um, 100 uh, um, to uh, 112,000 you know and uh, pieces in his life. This is quite an amazing number. But then uh, this idea is uh, primitive. But, uh, you know, um, very important part of the spiritualism going to be a uh, very minimal, also abstract form. Because uh, this is the same time that Picasso just looked at the uh, um, African sculptures, and now uh, it's uh, 90 and uh, 907. So this is very important part. This uh, sculpture is influenced by very uh, Spanish and uh, primitive uh, sculpture, but the stair style is uh, very much inspired by African sculpture. So I just put together and make uh, the questioning about what the simplicity, what the kind of primitive is, what the abstraction is, what the spiritualism is. Both are uh, to be a guardian for the people. So these are uh, pictures. Also, next one is uh, here is Andro Sacriste, a uh, French artist, and uh, you can see uh, her work is at uh, the end of the you know, wall. This is very minimalism, also very much, very, very sensitive painting. This uh, symbolism comes from the you know, nature. 
together with a, um, like a Shibata Zeshi, and uh, he is very an uh, um, important uh, um, rapper and uh, craftsman and uh, Japanese rapper. So that time I just make a very and, uh, minimal installation like that. When you look at this river, so that means that uh, Raka is an uh, uh, when you look at uh, this species and uh, from the your perspective point and uh, all the kind of painting looks differently. Also unroll the crystal and uh, sensitively and uh, showing like this. Because then um, look at the works in a certain experience. Also it's uh, quite important to you know add historical and uh, articulation is this is mixture, minimalism on the symbolism. It's an, uh, you know, real form. It's very dynamic kind of, you know, dialogues between and a very decorative and a ceiling painting and very craft and, uh, you know, um, floor because uh, this looks like earthquake, also current disaster, but uh, represented, but and also very strong contrast, those kind of brochures and, uh, you know, your basic ideas also to be constructed and uh, those kind of current disaster images. So that uh, you know, very strong kind of messages like that. And also again, and uh, um, Sugimoto. So that, uh, after Sugimoto, so that uh, it's a kind of gaze and a perception from the peripheral to the center. Because uh, this uh, is Son Tanaka, he's a Japanese uh, uh, traditional style painter. But uh, he just, when he became 50 years old, he decided to go to South Island because uh, um, he just uh, tried to find uh, a new kind of platform, new kind of vision to just uh, uh, develop his own kind of idea to be more modern. So he just referred to Gogan because a lot. But uh, his painting looks like uh, the Russo, but uh, you know, and, uh, he is uh, the one who really kind of uh, established a strong idea to just find his uh, great inspiration in the South Island. So that means, uh, you know, um, his painting, the installation, something like that. Center is a uh, movie and uh, was made by, you know, young uh, filmmaker and also, you know, the artist. And uh, they just uh, um, show, they just make a location, the island, and uh, they can make a picture and he drive and also his uh, painting together. So this is the bag, yeah. So the uh, um, next look is uh, Gogyan, because uh, Gogyan also when he become uh, 40 years old, it's, uh, he just went to Martinique, also after he go to Tahiti, and uh, um, Tahiti, because uh, he got a great inspiration from them, because uh, it's the most important thing, they died at that island, both Isun and Gogyan. Because uh, that means uh, it's a great you know, gift and, uh, from those kind of modern painters to give a uh, you know, new perception to the uh, local people. This is also a uh, different kind of way to thinking. Because uh, we're always thinking about you know, how these kind of two artists uh, went to uh, the South Island how they get uh, their new kind of inspiration, also, you know, something very exotic and ideas from the, you know, referred to and uh, from that island. But not only that, and uh, they just seriously engage to live and die there. So that means, uh, you know, lots of the also uh, inspiration, also gift to the island people. This is my kind of, you know, basic ideas, put them together. So this is a Suda, very minimal installation. It's by the sculpture. This is very also, and uh, this is more. So this is the exhibition. Also, this is the Haraguchi, and uh, um, he's an uh, artist that make an oil flow and a uh, collaboration with Tanaka. Could you show them uh, these videos? Yes. I have only one minute. Yeah. Because uh, always uh, Japan is uh, suffered a lot in a natural disaster because it's very... <laughs> it's a live attack, live streaming of the live streaming of the cyber attack. Because they just put on a, you know, on a honeypod, honeypod unprotected site. 
to an aggregate world because an immediately cyber attack started and protected the site. That means uh, they can trace it because uh, they just put down uh, something kind of um, honey pot uh, to be attacked. So that's a lot of uh, that the finish. So that was very quick. Okay. Yes, okay. It's fine. Okay. Images also comparing and uh, you know very classical images and uh, to just to show painting a thunder uh, storm because uh, I just put it together. This is very classical representation about the storm. Also, this is another very contemporary invisible and uh, walls and uh, to be and uh, uh, presented in such a way. So I just want to present in this very classical academic way to very cutting edge and uh, media orient oriented way, both in Japan. So that then, um, this is uh, and, uh, um, the piece by um, uh, model for the Ise Jingu at the Ise Shrine together. Um, this is a uh, Ainu and uh, um, kind of relief because uh, one of the 19 and uh, was a major period, major uh, government and uh, was a beginning modernization. Because uh, Ainu is a uh, very minority tribe who live in the north because uh, they don't have any kind of regional languages. They have only oral, oral languages. Because all the lyric, also the song, and uh, dedicated to God is uh, disappeared. So that means one of the young women, and uh, she comes from Ainu, she just transcribed uh, all the kind of song it's, uh, into the um, kind of dictated. Also, you know, and uh, also translated uh, very uh, beautiful Japanese. So that means that uh, I just uh, um, kind of asked and invited uh, some of the artist group make this uh, um, to do this kind of project to just uh, dedicate this kind of woman who died 90 years old who just tried to and uh, uh, remain to just uh, and, uh, make a new archive for the, those kind of minority people. So this is one of the stories and uh, archival project. This one is a uh, shrine because uh, in Japan, it's, uh, comparing the uh, Parthenon shrine, we don't have any eternal, you know, physical, you know, um, continuity and uh, really trustful because only things that uh, this is a shrine every 20 years and uh, we just demolished uh, all the shrine. Also, just kind uh, reconstructed uh, the other side because uh, this is both kind of um, uh, footprint, the land, they just changing every 20 years. Everything is built, renewed. This is the idea of all the technology, knowledge, also carpenter skill could be, you know, and uh, transmitted to the next generation. This is the idea of Italian. So that means that uh, uh, Bruno Tau and also and, uh, uh, required a lot about this kind of special state in Japan. Next one, everybody knows about Hokusai. Very subjective, you know, and uh, I, so this is a uh, main protagonist, is uh, Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is very humanized. So this is a Zen painting, very simplicity. Also, this is a aesthetic and kawaii, very simple paintings that contain a lot of the strong kind of Zen philosophy. These are uh, very kind of uh, um, interesting project and uh, just in the bar and also Mirai Moriyama because uh, this is AI and uh, um, artificial intelligence robot. It's a conversation between human beings and robot. So this is a uh, kind of Kohei Nawa's piece. Yeah. So that uh, um, because uh, Kohei Nawa's piece and uh, every two hours and uh, this kind of poem is uh, so bubbles and poem has been showing uh, different landscapes because uh, this is very slowly changing, but it's always changing, never can kind of say. But operated by some kind of instantary, also uh, operated by some computer you know, and program, both. Because uh, now this is a great you know, kind of combination of hybridity between human operation, also and material nature. Because I just want to uh, put this piece and uh, lastly to uh, go into uh, new language in the future also connected to the very past. 
So this is a kind of end of my presentation. And uh, I hope that uh, because this is not any really determined, uh, you know, and uh, uh, principle from my exhibition, because uh, this is several kind of element keyword I just put in uh, already to give it to you. And uh, just, you know, and uh, think about, you know, how this kind of visual art to uh, showing and uh, kind of presenting uh, each idea about. Because if you're interested in something, you just start to trace it. This is very open, you know, course, and this is my curatorial ideas. Always, and uh, it's very important to uh, just, you know, make uh, some proposal, my own kind of position, and uh, from Japan, to just asking you to, uh, what do you think about that? What are uh, something relevant, something common, something completely different, but uh, still interesting. So thank you very much for your listening. And uh, it's always uh, very much you know, important for Rob. Everybody just come to reach his uh, um, installation to say, wow. So this is uh, his uh, lifesaver of my exhibition. So I just uh, please uh, come to join the conversation for an hour. <laughs>